in traditional business, you put a product up, market it, and have a price on it, people then buy it from you. But on the internet, it works very, very differently. It is the opposite of that. It's sharing is having more. What does that mean? It means that you have to start by giving something away to build your network. So it's sharing is having more means that you have to build your network by giving something of value to others for free. And it's in the saying givers get, well, that's what it's, that's the value. Sharing is having more. All of those sayings are not dealing with traditional economics. It's dealing with network science. So that once you start to understand feeding your network first is a requirement and it, you don't have any choice. I mean, the network science is, is it's like, and if you have a car, you have to have gasoline, okay? If you want to prosper in the internet age, and with the, you have to build your network. And you don't do it by putting gasoline in it, but you do have to have some dynamic value that you give out free first. So sharing is having more, do this first. And unless you're willing to do that, your chances of success are very, very slim in the network economy. Once you have done that and have added enough predictable value that people will now trust you, which they're going to take some time and they're going to have to start develop this over time. It takes time to build trust. It doesn't take much time to destroy trust, but to build it, it takes time. And therefore, in network science, you feed your network, feed it, feed it, feed it. Once the trust is there and it takes varying points, then your network, and it's large enough, See, then you can make an offer to them to buy something. If they trust you enough and they still have the interest in what your dynamic value is, what your offer is, they will buy it. That's when the revenue stream comes in in terms of with your client. Now, even if you don't get that revenue stream, if you have enough people, in other words, if you've got tens of thousands of people following you and what you're doing, even if you don't have anything to sell, if there's enough people on it, you can get advertising revenue, and that type of revenue will also pay you. But what you've got to understand is it doesn't start by coming up with a product and offering it for sale. That's a loser's strategy in the network. You must do it completely different, and you've got to think differently. You've got to think about building the relationship first, and it has to be one that they trust, and it's got to be unique. If you do that, you're on your way, but it's taking a lot of energy on your part up front and don't discount how much the energy is because it's a lot and so if you're not ready to do that and if you can't do this from a space of intrinsically motivated means something that you really love to do then this is not your field you've got to love it because if you don't giving it away and sharing it and getting passionate about it is very difficult if you're not intrinsically motivated so if you're in it to get the money first, this is not the strategy that's going to be successful in the Internet. An old saying that birds of a feather flock together, and that's what preferential attachment is about. It's, it's people choosing to be together. They want to be together. They like the thought of working with these people. They get excited about it, and they want to share. It is preferential attachment is the number one differentiator between a bell curve and a power curve. And where you're dealing with right now is you want to be on the power curve because it's mu actually much easier. I learned from Bucky a long time ago that the bigger the picture, the more accurate your prediction. There's nothing in a caterpillar, if you just study a caterpillar, will ever tell you about scenario butterfly. So my entire life, I'm working as much as I can to be a comprehensive is that is interested in everything so I can make better choices better decisions and have a better perspective what can I do for you